everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Katie. Today's video is going to be another fun little roundup where I'm going to share some gift basket ideas. Gift baskets are one of my favorite things to give over the holidays because I love to pick a theme for each person in my life that I wanna give something special to. So it's really fun to just sort of like customize a gift with a bunch of things that I know they will love. So I've done a few of these videos in the past, so I've rounded up my favorite gift baskets that I've ever made, and I'm gonna share them with you today to give you some inspiration for your gifting this year. So I hope you guys will enjoy this and let's get started. This basket is perfect for the person who loves to host or entertain friends and family. I started by laying a nice towel at the bottom of the basket, then added a wood board, which is great for making a charcuterie spread. Next, I added some paper filler to hold up my smaller items. A good olive oil like this garlic infused oil is a nice touch. I also included this spice rub, which is a quick and easy recipe to make. Just combine one third of a cup of coarse salt, a quarter of a cup of paprika, a quarter cup of brown sugar, and four tablespoons of Italian seasonings. Give it a good stir, or you can just shake it all together right in the jar. This is a really fun addition to the basket because it adds a personal touch since you made it yourself. Every host needs a good set of coasters, so I added in these marble coasters, which I actually made using some tiles from Home Depot, as well as some cute cocktail napkins and a copper mug because it's super pretty and festive. So to go along with the theme of sustainability, I'm using a thrifted bowl for the basket. And that is always a good way to go for gift baskets. You can head to the thrift store. They have so many different baskets and bowls and things there. So don't spend a ton of money on the actual base of the project. Just head to your thrift store if you can and get some cute baskets like this. So whenever I'm creating gift baskets, I like to layer things and to create levels to give it some visual interest. So I'm gonna start out by layering just this really pretty dish towel in the bowl. And then I'll start to layer my items over top of that. So the first item that I picked up for this eco-friendly gift basket are these beeswax food wraps. They are reusable, so instead of using plastic saran wrap or something like that, you can use these, you can wash them, and basically you can wrap them around fruits and veggies and snacks and things like that. And then when you're done with it, you just wash it in some warm water and use it again. So that is amazing. I also really loved the pattern of this. It's so pretty, just this green like woodlandy pattern. So that's gonna be the first item going in my gift basket. Next up, and I know I've talked about this company before but it's Grove Collaborative and they have these silicone straws that come in this really cute carrying case that comes with four or five straws and they're just these blue kind of like bendy silicone straws so you can reuse them you can wash them and they're much better for the environment than plastic straws if you guys haven't tried out Grove Collaborative I'll leave a link down below because I order from them once a month for all my cleaning supplies paper products and things like that so I think you get a free gift set when you sign up so I'll just leave that link down below if you want to try it another really good eco-friendly gift are these wool dryer balls so you throw these in the dryer instead of dryer sheets and they fluff up your clothing and make them less staticky and things like that. They absorb the moisture. So these are a really great gift, but you can also scent them with essential oils. So I know a lot of people like the scent that goes along with the dryer sheets. So you can gift the person a little bottle of essential oils as well in the basket. Just add a couple of drops to your dryer balls and then it makes your whole laundry smell good. This one is called Velvet by Vitruvi and it's one of my favorite scents. It smells like baby powder it smells so good I think it would be a really good laundry scent so I'm going to include that in this gift basket and lastly something really unique is this little sampler pack of shampoo and conditioner bars so this company is vegan and cruelty free and they are free of plastic and basically they have this cute little sampler pack of these little hearts of different types of shampoo and conditioner so instead of using a big plastic bottle of shampoo or conditioner you can use these and they are much better for the environment and they last you for a few washes according to the packaging. I haven't tried them out yet, um, but they do smell really good. So I think this is a really cute and unique fun gift. This next basket is all about relaxation, which is especially appreciated around the holidays. So first I included this coloring book that's made for adults. I love these things. I always enjoy them when I'm just trying to de-stress. Then I added some more of the paper filler to elevate the next few items, like a bottle of the recipient's favorite wine. 
You could also add coffee or tea instead of alcohol. To go along with the beverage, I picked up a chocolate bar and this sea salt caramel one is my personal favorite, as well as a nice candle and you can choose the person's favorite scent. The last thing that I put in the basket is a homemade jar of bath salts, which are so nice and relaxing. To make this, just combine one cup of Epsom salts, a quarter cup of coarse salt, one quarter cup of baking soda, and a few drops of essential oils. You can choose whatever scents that you want. I always lean toward lavender for bath products because to me, it's just a very relaxing scent. Go ahead and mix this all up, then add it to a jar, and you can add a label to the jar if you'd like to let them know what ingredients are in it. I'm going to be using this copper basket for this and I added some filler, just some paper filler, to add a little bit of height to it. The first item I picked up for this gift basket is this glass mister. I love the color of it and it's really easy to use and you can just mist your plants and keep them very well hydrated. The next thing I'm going to add are some planters and these are actually DIYs. So I made this one a couple of months ago but it's just painted with some craft paint. You could choose their favorite colors or whatever you want to do. It's just a really easy, simple DIY that you can personalize. And then we have the plant lady mug maybe my favorite thing. I love it. It says plant lady on both sides of it. I like the colors and the pattern. Kind of want to keep it for myself, but I think I will gift it to someone, but I just love this. I'm going to add it into the basket. I think it is the perfect gift for anyone who loves their plants. I thought it would be so fun to make a gift basket for a friend who loves to DIY just like me. So I put together a make your own candle kit. I included a bag of wax flakes and a bar of candle wax, a couple of different candle scents that they can add to the melted wax, a small jar for them to use for the candle, and a bundle of wicks. Starting off, I'm using this basket from Ikea, and again, I'm layering it with one of these really pretty hand towels. So the first thing I want to add is actually a DIY, and it is a very, very simple boho style wall hanging. To make this, you'll need some hoops, and I'm using these gold hoops. I use these all the time, so I will link them down below. And you'll also need some macrame cord or yarn. Start by wrapping your cord around an item like a book a bunch of times. I actually did this process twice because I didn't make enough the first time around, but you can always start off with a few and then add more as you need to. Once you finish wrapping it as many times as you want, just cut off the excess and then go ahead and slide your scissors through the loop at the bottom and then just cut all the way through. Now you're gonna take two pieces at a time and you're going to fold them in half, slide them under your loop, pull the ends through and then pull it tight. Continue doing this two pieces of string at a time until you have filled it up as much as you want to. Once you're done, it'll look like this, and then you can go ahead and add your smaller hoop. So I'm just going to take one of my extra pieces of string here and tie a knot, and then I'm going to go ahead and slide that underneath both rings, and then pull the knotted end through to the top so that the two rings are attached. If you want to, you can trim the bottom, you can make it straight across or into a V-shape, whatever you'd like to do. So here is my finished wall hanging. Like I said, it is very simple, but if you do have a friend who likes that bohemian style, this is going to be a really nice piece to give to them. I also picked up a set of these really cute votive holders. They're just some teal glass with a really pretty pattern on them. So I'm gonna add in a couple of those. Another great boho gift are macrame coasters. I made these a few months back, so I'll link the tutorial for you guys if you wanna try it out. They are so easy to make. You could make a set of them, and I think it's just a really good gift to add in. I'm also adding this pretty pink speckled campfire mug. I think these are so cute and they go well with the coaster. And I actually did a DIY on these where on the bottom it says probably wine with some vinyl. So you can also customize this as well to put words on it or whatever you want. You could put someone's name on it or monogram, or you could just leave them plain, but I think this is really cute. Last but not least, I'm adding on this wood bead garland. These are such a great decor piece. They're really trendy right now and easy to make. So I'm just going to layer that inside the basket and that'll be the final touch. And lastly, who doesn't love a cozy night in? 
This basket is all about keeping things cozy, so I've included a blanket scarf, which is just perfect for keeping warm on chilly nights. I also added in a container of tea, and again, you can personalize this for the recipient by choosing their favorite tea flavor. I also included a nice candle in a wintry scent, some warm socks, which are my personal favorite, a couple of wood slice coasters for a cozy, rustic touch, and a cute mug with some extra tea bags inside. All right, we're gonna do this a little bit differently this time. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these gift baskets that you would love to receive. I would just like to know which one you love the most and that you would be happy to have as a gift this year. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. It's just my name, at Katie Bookser, to see sneak peeks of upcoming videos and to see fun DIY reels that I share all the time. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you go ahead and do that. Hit that bell notification so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.